just like india the food in arabic regions near the mediterranean sea is also very very communal so a large platter of food is served uh, and people share out of it there is a lot of talking camaraderie and basically very indian so one such dish which is there in the meze platter the meze platter is the platter where food is served uh, in a communal setting a lot of small small items are served uh, one of the dishes that is hum Hummus. We all have heard about hummus, and another dish is baba ganoush. Baba ganoush is made from roasted grilled eggplants, and it is mashed into a very smooth, fragrant uh, dip. If you were to look for a similar dish in the Indian cuisine, it would be bengan ka bharta, but not the way uh, Punjabis or uh, in the western and the southern part of India it's made. The this is the type of bharta that you get in Bihar or UP, where all the kacha or raw ingredients are put into the grilled eggplant. So this baba ganoush is very similar to that, but the difference is of course the use of Mediterranean spices and also uh, it is made. very smooth it is blended in the mixture and it it has a very creamy smooth consistency so i hope you're excited to learn this recipe but before i begin making this recipe subscribe to my channel and share this video if you've liked it so i'm just going to remove the top of the brinjals and just roughly slit it into two equal parts I have washed and thoroughly cleaned these eggplants beforehand and now I'm just going to brush them with some olive oil I'm going to grill these eggplants on a non-stick uh, cooking tawa uh, so that the juices they don't drip and spoil my gas burner. A lot of people also prefer to directly uh, roast the um, eggplants on the gas burner, but I I don't see any change in taste by grilling it on a tawa, and uh, it just saves a lot of after cooking mess. Uh, that i have to clean another option is that you can just rub these with olive oil like i have done and you can also bake them in the oven at 200 degrees in the grill mode so only the top heating element is on and you can just grill these eggplants till they become soft and cooked from inside i'm just going to place these the skin side down onto this tawa If you don't want to spoil your non-stick uh, and it's fairly new you can also do this on an iron tawa. You just need to be careful that the skin doesn't get burned and stick to the bottom. So now we'll just uh, you know while the eggplant is very roundish from here you will need to keep pressing it so that it takes the flatter shape of the pan and once that is done in like 5 to 10 minutes you will you don't you just have to let it be on the gas and it will do its thing you will also need to keep turning the sides frequently until this side becomes too juicy and starts leaking a lot of juice so you just have to let this then you have to just turn it onto the skin side and let it cook So these brinjals are now cooked and they've become slightly uh, cold enough for me to handle. Now I'm just going to scoop them. We have to remove all the excess moisture from these because you want your dip to be very smooth and uh, creamy so you don't want a lot of juice to go into it. So I'm going to put this on a strainer usually if we were to make bharta out of this then we would just use it the way it is right now but we don't want a lot of liquid to go here so i'm going to put it in a strainer now nowadays we actually get uh, these 
brinjals all year round but of course the quality of these brinjals is much better in winter so you this is the right time and the right season for you guys to try this for the first time if you haven't already the season is perfect to make this arabic bengan ka bharta <laughs> and uh, also one more seasonal ingredient that i have used in this recipe which is green garlic now usually this recipe has regular garlic but since green garlic is in season i have used that instead of regular garlic tahini paste or basically ground sesame seed paste is a very very typical mediterranean arabic ingredient but uh, it's not very frequently used in india and the imported brands are very expensive so whenever i am making a uh, arabic recipe where the recipe calls for tahini i always make my own in small batches that way it tastes fresher and it is also very cost effective so here i have taken about 3 tablespoons of uh, sesame seeds which i'm lightly going to roast on medium flame you don't need to make them dark brown in color just until it releases its fragrance and then i'm going to blend it in my mixer along with the other liquid ingredients that i will add in the baba ganoush because a very small quantity of sesame seed it's also not possible to grind it into uh, grind it in my big jar of the mixer These sesame seeds have now toasted well. I can hear the crackling sound of these seeds. And that's it. I am not going to brown it any further. They might also end up tasting bitter and you don't want that if it's over roasted. Generally also sesame seeds have a slightly bitter taste, but uh, the flavor, the beautiful flavor that they impart is overpowering the bitterness. And by over roasting, you don't want to spoil the taste of the sesame seeds. So that's it. This is done now. now i'm going to remove it immediately into another bowl so that it stops cooking so a lot of this juice has dripped out of these brinjals so i'm going to discard this juice and add the brinjals to my mix then in goes these roasted sesame seeds some cumin powder this is some thick curd very fatty premium curd that i have here it's just to add some creaminess and also to lighten the color of this very gray looking baba ganoush a generous drizzle of olive oil and another non traditional ingredient is this green chilies i just find this uh, dip to be very bland if i'm not adding any spice to it so that is why i am adding some green chilies to this uh, dip to make it a little bit spicy and suitable for my taste if you want you can remove this this is not there in traditional baba ganoush recipes if you want you can also put dried red chili flakes instead of these green chilies I'm just going to put two of these. And the last ingredient is this green garlic bulbs. I've taken about four of them. I'm adding some salt to taste and juice of about half a lime. You can adjust the sourness uh, with the lemon and the curd whatever however sour you want this to be. And that's it. Now I'm going to blend this, run this in my mixer till it is a smooth paste. So at this stage this is the final finishing stage just check taste your uh, uh, baba ganoush again i find that mine has a little less salt so i'm going to add some salt to this and then these are the green garlic uh, piece uh, leaves that i have chopped up and this is some fresh curled american parsley that i have used here uh, actually if you can find flat leaf parsley that is the best the italian flat leaf parsley but it's not easily available in india this parsley is fairly easily available so i have just used the leaf part of these uh, curled parsley and i'm going to add it to the baba ganoush and then just mixed everything 
so this baba ganoush recipe is done it's just so simple you can serve this with warm toasted pita bread or with vegetable crudets traditionally baba ganoush is served at room temperature or cold you can serve it whatever way you prefer you can also serve it as a part of a meze platter where you serve it with the different varieties of hummus falafel cheeses etc if you want to learn how to make different types of hummus and homemade pita bread without using an oven i will link my video here and you can learn that from that video I hope you guys have liked this recipe and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I will see you again with another interesting recipe. Till then, happy cooking.